And oh my goodness, what is Santa Claus bringing us? Well, good morning, Bobby Lee here from Hurricane Creek Farms on a uh, nice little cool Wednesday morning. Um, getting ready to do a lot of things. Um, we're, what, now just five days away from Christmas, but rumor has it Santa Claus might be coming a little early um, here for us. Um, might be only about a half hour out or so. Um, I guess to a smaller extent, he's already come. We uh, spent last weekend over in Hot Springs, Arkansas, swung by while we were over there um, for my wife's birthday, Kaylin. Um, by Allen Gate and Panel in Prattsville, picked up what should be all the panels we need to finish out our um, having the barn arranged just like we want it. Um, then we will just need concrete to have that project done. But anyway, may get to unloading those and setting that up later today. It depends on how everything else goes. Um, it's not critical we get that done. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Now we got to get ready for Santa. Um, just like you have to put out milk and cookies for him on Christmas Eve. Um, Today we got to do a couple of things before he gets here. But um, appreciate y'all watching. Hit, hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Let's get after it. Well, Santa giveth and Santa taketh away. Yeah, this is a, I guess kind of a unique deal for Santa. Normally he only, he only brings, but yeah, we, we traded the M135 for M6, um, M6S 111. Be sure I get it right dealing with um my buddy craig over at first choice farm and lawn um highlight kind of some of the differences and really the, the reason we traded was just um this was kind of a demo unit you know doesn't have many hours on it basically new but not completely new um so uh, they did us right on that deal um a little smaller about 25 horsepower smaller we just especially once we got the m4 in here and saw what all it could do and we knew that was a bigger tractor than we needed the 135 um i knew we could downsize um and so we did but we'll get to using it a whole lot more over these next you know weeks to months um just kind of quickly highlight a few of the differences then we got to run to town got to do a few other things um tires um it's kind of a, a hybrid between an ag tire and a turf tire um should be fine for everything we do um Probably the biggest thing I don't like about it, and we'll go ahead and get the negatives out of the way first, is she does take government juice. Um, this is a deaf tractor. The M4 is small enough that they're not required to have deaf. Um, and of course, everything nowadays over a certain size, um, I believe it may be 75 horsepower, um, which puts that one just under it. Um, doesn't, um, doesn't have a buddy seat. Um, yeah, I do. That's a little bit of a bummer, but um, looks like everything else was right about it. Um, hey, this one should have a radio that works. That's cool. <laughs> That's what I was telling Craig on on when we traded. Like you know, that tractor, you know, it's you know, it's just used, needs to be cleaned up, that kind of sort of thing. You know, little bitty problems, but um, one of the biggest things is yeah, the radio doesn't work. I've always just had to pop in a um, one of my earbuds to, to listen but anyway yeah Kaylin needs a ride to town gotta go do a few things um and then we will be um back in action oh actually before i go to town i am gonna unload some of that stuff because i need to take the truck obviously not gonna drag that trailer around And I told myself I was just gonna unload this stuff. I was gonna start putting it together because I gotta get into town and do a few other things that are a little more pressing because we're not intending to load out cattle anytime soon, but I couldn't help. I went ahead and, and put the load out on here. So of course we can widen and 
narrow that as we need to. But now we can basically get rid of the load out to the chute like we did two or three weeks ago. We can back our trailer right in here. Boom. We can load them out right there. They're not, you know, these big cows. It was just it was a struggle doing that that day. <clears throat> it's not perfect because, of course, when we got this right here, we can't use our slider. But simple solution to that is when we're loading out, we want that sliding gate shut anyway. Whenever we're getting ready to work cows and run them down the chute, all we have to do is swing that over that way, and boom, we can use that again just like normal. So, anyway, got to do some things with different size panels in there to make it all square up. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to be disciplined, get into town. Um, Kaylin actually needs a ride. She had to drop her car off at the service station. Get a few things done, um, had a tire issue and whatnot. We'll worry about this later if we get caught up on everything else. A rare appearance in a video by Brown Dog, or, or Brownie as we more affectionately call her. <laughs> Wandered down here to the barn. But, I guess it's time we waited long enough. The tractor's been here for several hours now. I've yet to even, uh, I think I sat in the seat. That's the only thing I've done so far. I'm gonna crank it up. We need to get some hay fed, um, both here and up the road. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we're gonna put her to work. Craig, they threw us some, some goodies in here. Got the first choice farm and lawn hat. Looks like uh, we got. Now that is a good looking sweatshirt. Have to Have to wear that here one day soon. Um, nice to have this time of year. So well, let's check things out. There's full wheel drive. There's our high and low range parking brake. Um, gear shift. Of course, we got the left hand reverse. Let's just see what we do. Fired right up. Yep, we got our def gauge as well. Um, yeah, not crazy about it the death situation but it is what it is um, government knows best right um, lift the loader up yep gotta drop the bucket off put the spear on so okay I'll just put her in high range of course he had it in low coming off that trailer well she moves not that we were doubting. Tell you what, I don't want to drop this bucket. I'm going to drop the bucket out here out back. We do have, have to get some gravel spread around the old or the new barn. Just got a little bit of a low spot there. Um, so I'm going to have a, bring a couple of dump truck loads here in the next few days, but. Uh, it may be a better job for that smaller tractor. So I don't know that we're gonna need a bucket anytime soon. We'll go ahead and drop it back here more out of the way. Well, she runs up and down the road just fine. Uh, we had to bring some hay up here, um, like I'd mentioned. You see, we got just a little roll on the front, which of course, not super efficient. I'm gonna come up here, I ought to bring two full-size rolls of hay, but there's always a little strategery in farming. Um, the 13 bred Angus heifers are leaving here in less than 48 hours. That's Friday. I have to work on Friday. Um, but it's when the gentleman can come get them. He's already paid us for them, so by golly, we're gonna make it work. But my plan is, first thing Friday morning, like always, I'll come down here and feed them. We'll go ahead and, and shut the gate behind them, sort off um, the crossbred heifers, get them out of here. That way I've already got the, the, them ready to go. I mean, theoretically, of course, things never work out like they do in theory, but we shouldn't have to do anything but back up truck and trailer and run them on the trailer. Shouldn't take just a few minutes. So they're gonna stay pinned up for a couple hours. I want them to have a little hay in here with them. So that's what we're, why we brought this little roll. And I'm gonna be plenty for them to munch on for just a couple hours. 
and they weren't going to starve to death you know waiting on him to get here anyway but this way they don't ever go without they don't get hungry or anything um, but we'll drop that bale in here we can shut that gate so they won't eat it until then and then i got one regular size roll that we'll put out there in the feeder for them to eat just like they normally would so i hope that wasn't too confusing So all the heifers are here and accounted for. Not to be expected any different, but Lord, never know. Um, so we'll drop this other hay out there, put it in the ring. We'll be headed back to the house. Back home, um, did put out a roll of hay for the bulls. The cows are telling me that they're hungry. The roll we unrolled this morning is apparently eaten up. We like for them to kind of run out like that, make them really clean it up. They've still got some older rolls out there, but they're being kind of picky. They're, well, they just hear me too. So they're like, hey man, I know you're about to, about to put one of them on the back of that little fancy unroller thing and unroll one. So they're right, we'll do that. We got. Went ahead and set out, I guess, five rolls. That's one unroll this afternoon, and then we'll unroll two each of the next two days. And then by Saturday, we'll have to crank the tractor back up again anyway. And that should have them content for a few hours um, till about six o'clock or so in the morning when we do it all over again. Um, it's kind of our routine. Unroll one first thing in the morning, um, and then hit it again. You know, when I'm working, like tomorrow to be about 6 a.m. then about 12 to 1 p.m. somewhere in there. But yeah, just picking out kind of some of the poor ground, um, all this hill ground, just spread out all that organic matter, um, whatever hay they pick through and don't eat. And then of course the manure. You can see we've got a pretty good, you know, those hillsides over there, just this side of the house are certainly falling into that category. They're really steep. You can see I've gotten on it a little bit strategically in some spots, but, uh, yeah, not looking to uh, roll the side by side over in the process. Well, I've got just about an hour for my next commitment for the evening or for the afternoon. <clears throat> so let's see if we can get these panels together. Um, kind of hinted to it at one other time, but basically to close up this gap, bring these, that gate over here along this, not really a wall, but outer portion of the building. We've got a four foot gap. Got a 12 foot panel there. We're gonna replace it with two eights. Um, and then we got a few other little things. We'll just, we'll start there because that might be all I get done. Never know how long this is gonna take. Oh, nearly smashed my foot. Need to move those panels just a little further. Go. Now we're cooking with gas. Uh. And now I've successfully worked up a sweat. Um, it's good for me though. Um, so what have we done? I don't know how much you caught there on time lapse. So. Yeah, replaced one 12 foot panel there with two eights. Gave us the extra four foot to bring that right there, pretty much flush with the side of the building. Um, same thing going this way. Uh, then over here, we replaced a 12 footer right there with an eight and a four foot walk through gate. Because as I saw whenever we were working cows last time, when you're in there and you run the cows into the sweep, and then you need to get back up there to the chute. I mean, I'm not getting any younger. You either gotta come back through here, or go through this gate, go through that gate, 
where which you probably got animals in both these areas um, <clears throat> each time just takes more time um, or you can climb over and um, yeah that's where the not getting any younger part comes in uh, so now I got a little walk through gate there which makes it a little nicer I'm also going to add a walk through or I say walk through one of those little four foot gates somewhere in here um, so that, that way sometimes when we're rearranging animals when I've got animals in this pen and in this pen but I can sort some out of here back out that might probably didn't make any sense but just give us more options when we're moving animals for gates to put animals different places um, obviously we've got two extra 16 footers now um, probably what we're going to do out here just in the next week or so we need to wean our calves here we're behind we're late doing that but we'll keep them up for a few days we always do to kind of fence line wean them um, they can still be you know just a few feet away from their mamas um, while they go through those first few days then we'll move them up the road where the heifers are um, but I really want to get those uh, all the, the bread heifers that are for sale gone and they'll be gone here in um, well, less than 48 hours so this little project is getting closer to being complete one thing we lack um, I guess two things need to get the wood post in the ground it's, it's still real flimsy for reinforcement I was waiting on the concrete guy to get done but I've just about you know run out of patience with him I know they're busy everybody's busy anything like this but um heck I told him about the job probably two or three months ago then when I got this pretty much finalized he bid it to me probably a month or more ago and kind of indicated that you know they'd be on it um because he was like do you want to get it done before the end of the year you know kind of thing I was like well yeah I mean I'm ready I guess you know and uh heck and it's a small tiny job you know by comparison I think we're gonna do like a 20 by 30 you know what, was that 600 square foot of concrete four inch pad but anyway um it's actually holding up really well it's not getting mucky and muddy in here even with that you know nine animals in here feeding and you know urinating defecating and all that sort of fun stuff but got that done oh me it is now it is basically four o'clock um got to meet somebody here in just a few minutes feed these animals just gonna about wrap it up for today only video this week apologize just busy we were out of town last weekend it's that time of year next week may be the same holidays uh, uh, kids are out of school um staying up with them watching christmas movies at night when i would normally be editing videos and so hey um those are moments and times we don't get back so um we're, 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 we'll get back to our two videos a week probably once we get through the holidays um and who knows? We, we might get to up next week. Never know. But anyway, I'm rambling. That's the end of the video. Y'all know what that means. Y'all eat beef and God bless.